Hello mga kabuhay! Ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa lipids. Lipids are biomolecules that contain large hydrophobic structures that are commonly not soluble in water. Kaya mapapansin natin na ang lipids or fats, no, hindi siya humahalo sa tubig. Kasi meron po itong uh, characteristic na hydrophobic meaning nire-repel niya no, yung water. Isa pang kahulugan ng lipids, they are not formed through polymerization. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila katulad ng carbohydrates or protein na nagbabond no, yung mga single unit nito together for a certain reaction. Another one, ang lipids ay came from a Greek word lipos which means fat. Matapos natin alamin ang kahulugan ng lipids, itanong naman natin, lahat ba ng taba o lipids na napupunta sa katawan natin ay masama ang naidudulot or meron din itong kabutihan na naidudulot sa atin? Una, ano ang functions ng lipids? Long-term energy storage. So meaning, tumutulong ito na maging isa sa source ng enerhiya para tayo ay mabuhay. At kapag ang lipids ay na-metabolize, nagpo-provide po ito ng 9 kilocalories of energy per gram. At alam po natin na kapag nasobrahan tayo din ng kain ng carbohydrates or ng sugar, nakoconvert din ito into fats at na stored po sa loob ng katawan natin. Number 2, cushioning of vital organs. Alam natin na ang cushioning meaning para siyang unan o nagpoprotekta sa mga mahalagang organs ng ating katawan. Katulad ng sa skin, meron po tayong tinatawag na mga subcutaneous na wherein pinoprotektahan po yung mga internal organ po natin. Sa spine, sa puso natin, at maging sa ating digestive system. Ang pangatlo naman na functions ng lipids ay important role in plasma membrane structure. So alam po natin ang plasma membrane or cell membrane, siya yung pinaka-boundary or outer uh, part ng cell na nagpo-protect sa exit and entry ng mga materials na needed by our cell. At ito po ay kinocompose ng phospholipid bilayer na meron po siyang head at meron po siyang tail. Yung head niya is hydrophilic meaning water loving at ito naman pong tail niya is a non-polar or hydrophobic nire-repel niya yung tubig. So, ang um, ang lipids, tumutulong din po ito sa pagsasend ng signal no from extracellular fluid papunta po dito sa intracellular fluid. Number four, it serves as insulation. So, more lipids in the body can keep themselves warmer. O, ibig sabihin, tumutulong po ang lipids para ma-maintain natin no, yung normal body temperature. So, around 36.5 to 37 degrees Celsius yung ating um, body temp no, na normal. At sa mga animals naman po, yung kanilang very thick fat layers na para po mag-adapt sila, no, lalo na sa mga freezing temperature na mga bansa or area. Number five, it serve as precursors for important reproductive hormones. So, alam po natin na uh, ang reproductive hormones ay tumutulong po no, para uh, mag-matured for being men or women at para din po mag-develop no, yung ating reproductive system. Kaya mga kabuhay, matapos nating alamin kung ano ang mga magandang na idudulot ng lipids o fat sa ating katawan. Ngayon naman, alamin natin yung apat na uri ng lipids. So, number one is triglycerides. So, ang triglycerides ay nagko-contain ng glycerol at naka-attach po ito sa three fatty acids. So, ang fatty acids ay kinocompose po ng carboxyl group, okay, and also hydrogen and carbon bond. So, ang triglycerides, meron po siyang two types, no? May fat or oil. So, yung fat refers to the solid triglyceride na usually from animal sources like milk, milk, butter, margarine, eggs, and cheese. 
sa eggs po yung egg yolk niya. Yung oil naman po, it refers to the liquid triglycerides from plant sources. So, ang example po nito ay olive oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, and soybean oil. So, mostly, ang animal fat, nagkocontain po ito ng high percentage of saturated fatty acid. At ang plant oil naman po ay unsaturated fatty acids. Kaya mga kaboy, alamin naman natin kung ano ba ang fatty acids. Kasi nabanggit kanina no, doon sa triglycerides. So, ang fatty acids are long chain of carboxylic acids that are insoluble in water. At ang fatty acids can be saturated or unsaturated. At ang mga saturated fatty acids, sila po yung nagkocontain ng hydrocarbon chain. At ang unsaturated naman, nagkocontain po ito ng mga double bonds. So, alamin po natin. First is saturated fats or tinatawag tong palmitic acid. So, it contain only single bonds in the fatty acid chain. Ito po yun. At ang kanyang karakteristik po ay solid at room temperature. They are found in animal fats such as pork and beef. And they are also found in butter, lard, cream, cheese, and some processed food. So itong saturated fats, ito po yung type ng triglycerides na fats. Okay? And ano ang effect po nito pag naparami yung kain natin or consume, lalo na tayong mga tao? So, pwede po itong mag-clog dun sa lining ng ating mga blood vessels. At meron tayong tinatawag na atherosclerosis, no? Ito yung nabablock na yung flow ng blood natin kapag nag-consume tayo ng high amounts of saturated fats. At ang atherosclerosis, ito po yung nagkukos bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng hypertension or pagtaas ng blood pressure. At the worst is nagkakaroon tayo ng pinatawag na heart attack. Okay, the second types of fatty acids is unsaturated fats or tinatawag natin oleic acid. It is mostly known as oils. No? Ito yung type ng uh, triglycerides. So, it contain one or more double bonds in the fatty acid chain. So, makikita po natin, this is a chain of hydrocarbon wherein meron po ditong uh, double bond between the two carbon. Kaya ito pong bent structure na to, pini-prevent niya po yung close packing at kaya ang fa uh, fats or oils na unsaturated ay liquid at room temperature. And they are commonly found in plants and ang mga example po nito are olive oil, coconut oil, and corn oil. At meron namang isa pong fat no, na medyo masama din po yung naidudulot sa atin. Lalo na makikita po ito sa mga processed food or sa mga fast food, which is the trans fat. So, ito po yung nag undergo ng artificial no, na process through hydrogenation. So, ano ba ang naidudulot ng trans fat sa body po natin? So, first, usually po, no, trans fat are also more unhealthy than regular and also like unsaturated fat. So, kung i-compare po natin, medyo unhealthy nga po yung trans fat. At alam po natin na meron po tayong dalawang cholesterol, no? Isa din po yan sa dahilan bakit tumataas yung cholesterol natin. So, meron po tayong HDL or the high-density lipoprotein which is a good cholesterol. Kasi, nire-return back po niya, no, yung mga excess cholesterol to the body's liver for processing. And, yung LDL naman po is the bad cholesterol, which is the low-density lipoprotein, na tinatransport naman po niya yung cholesterol throughout the body. Kaya po, itong um, LDL, ito po yung nagiging dahilan pag tumaas to, no, na nagbibuild no yung cholesterol sa mga walls ng ating mga body arteries at yun na po pag nagharden na po yun at magnarrow no i-reduce niya or ibablock niya rin yung blood flow kaya yung iba po ito yung nagiging dahilan din katulad ng atherosclerosis na nagkakaroon po ng heart attack or tinatawag nating stroke The second type of uh, lipids is phospholipids. So, parang yung katulad kanina po na makikita po ito sa cell membrane or the plasma membrane. 
at mostly ito pong phospholipids are lipids with a phosphate group. Alam po natin, mahalaga po yung phosphate no, sa katawan po natin. And phospholipids contains glycerol, two fatty acids, and a phosphate group. So, yan po yan. And phospholipids have a polar and nonpolar end. It is also a major component in the cell membrane or the plasma membrane. And meron nga po siyang hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. The third type of um, lipids is steroids. So steroids are cyclic hydrocarbons usually composed of four rings. So kung makikita po natin, example, number one is cholesterol. It is a steroid alcohol or sterol ang tawag. So very distinguished po no, na meron siyang apat na ring no, na usually it is a cyclic, uh, cyclic hydrocarbons. And cholesterol formation usually happens in major organs such as the brain and the blood vessels. And they are also major components in the formation of bile salts and gallstone. So alam po natin na yung kanina, discuss natin no, na yung cholesterol, meron pong bad, which is the LDL, at meron naman pong good, which is the HDL. Number two na under po ng steroid is the sex hormones. So, ano-ano ba yung mga example ng ating mga sex hormones? Like, sa lalaki po, we have the testosterone. So, very responsible po ito for lowering voice speech. Malak yung boses ng lalaki, no? Growth and facial and body hair. So, yun po yung, um, kumbaga, yung kanyang effect, no? At makikita din po natin, meron din po siyang four rings, yung testosterone. Second is the progesterone and estrogen or the estradiol. It is a female, responsible for female ovulation cycle. Second is cortisol. So cortisol is a fight or flight hormone. So it is designed to let you know when you're in danger. And it also removes fatty acid from lipids not to be used as energy. So yun po, apat na cyclic hydrocarbon din po yan. Okay, the fourth types of lipids is wax, are esters, are carboxylic derivatives, and it combined from certain alcohol and fatty acids. So, yan po yung ester part, wherein um, kinukombine no, yung fatty acid section and also the alcohol section. And they are extremely hydrophobic, meaning nagre-repel po ng water po yan. So, saan-saan po ba natin makikita ang wax, no? Um, they are present in the feathers or skin of other animals for protection, parang waterproof, no? Yung kanilang feather. Tapos po, makikita din po ito sa mga fruits and leaves of plants for protection. Lalo na po itong upper epidermis, may mga wax po yan. And meron din pong... Uh, Makikita din po no sa beeswax so ayan po from honeycomb yan at ito naman pong nasa baba is the carnova uh, wax from palm tree so ayan din po no and this one the white one is the spermaceti wax no ito po yung uh, from whale fat so ayan po mga kabuhay Ito po yung ating naging topic for today about lipids. So, salamat po sa pakikinig and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye mga kabuhay!